Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be showing you finally around my office now that it's been freshly painted. So we're going to be doing a overview of my whole office and also my vanity area. So back in the summer is when I gave it a fresh lick of paint. The original paint was still here when we moved in. This was a new build house so they just painted everything in a magnolia. But there was also on this back wall here a striped wallpaper that was from Laura Ashley. The developer wanted to put it in. To be honest, I wasn't overly keen on it but we did keep it for quite a few years until finally now I just got rid of the wallpaper and if you have watched my videos for a while I had a net kind of curtain with fairy lights in the background but I just decided to take that all down and just paint it white. I wanted it to be quite fresh and minimalist in here. So at the moment we're looking in from the doorway and I'm going to take you clockwise around the room just so you can get a overview of where I'm going. That is the door on the left and then here is my clothing rack. Now you've probably seen this clothing rack a ton of times before. I've had this for a good few years. It's from Ikea and it was super cheap. And I keep all that I'm currently wearing of a season down here because our wardrobe upstairs is quite narrow and that is why I absolutely love this rack. It holds a good amount of clothes on it. It's not the sturdiest but it's really served me well over the last couple of years because I can see clearly everything that I have. Next to the rail is this mirror that I got from Wilco. This again was really affordable but I I am looking for something a bit bigger and maybe in a wood. I do want to incorporate a bit of natural and black and white decor into here and phase out the copper and most of the pink, maybe just add a couple of touches in. But this is great for now and I have it stacked on some Vogues. These are really old school Vogues. I studied fashion at university so I used to collect Vogues and I just love having them around the house as decoration. So these have helped stand this mirror up a bit higher. Now you're probably wondering why I haven't hung it on the wall. It did used to be on the wall, but because with new builds they don't seem to fill them fully, it means that things tend to not stay on the walls and create big holes everywhere. So I just decided as I painted everything to just stand it on the floor. Then next to the mirror is this basket that you may have seen in my Ikea haul back in the summer. I absolutely love this and I know I said I would phase out the pink but I do like this pop of pink mixed with the natural basket. And then in here I have a mother-in-law's tongue. Okay, moving on to the back wall, I have these two Ikea chests of drawers. These are the mom ones. I've had these since we virtually moved in and I just have the glass on top to protect them. On the left is my essential oil diffuser that you've seen a ton of times before. I got this on Amazon and I absolutely love it. Even when I'm not burning essential oil, I really enjoy having it on in the background because it changes colours. Then the plate that the diffuser is on, I picked up recently from Tiger. So this is the start of me incorporating the black and white into the room. The lamp at the back I got years ago from Argos, I think. It was brown, but I sprayed it white. And I just really like how much light it gives off. Next to that is another stack of Vogues. These are newer Vogues that I've picked up recently over the last couple of years. Then on top of that is a green beauty Bible. And then I just have this marble cutting board that I use as a display slash decor piece. 
and both the marble board and then the copper jewellery box on top are from HomeSense. Next to that is a Bath and Body Works candle. This is in peppered suede. It smells absolutely stunning and Ben actually chose this candle because it does have quite a masculine edge to it as well. It's really beautiful. On the other chest of drawer is three white frames. The small one is from Matalans and the print inside is from Etsy. And then behind that is a frame from Wilco. And inside is actually some wallpaper. This is a really good trick if you want to decorate your room on the cheap. Then find some beautiful wallpaper and you can just mount it in a frame and it looks equally as good and it's a much more affordable way to add a bit of art to your room. The wallpaper is from B&Q if you're after this kind of palm print. Then next to that the frame is from Ikea. And in this frame is a print from Decenio. I absolutely love their prints and they also sell frames as well. And right at the end of the chest of drawers is a vase from Ikea. The artificial eucalyptus I picked up from Dunelm. And then it just has some white gravel in the bottom also from Ikea. Down here is my little meditation table where I keep my crystals. And this table is from The Range. I did paint the legs copper, but now I'm beginning to think that maybe they would have been better black. So I've made the decision to paint over them black instead. On the wall where the window is, I did have a canvas on here, but I'm on the lookout for instead a large map, but not just your regular coloured map. I want something that's going to go in with the rest of the decor. If you have any ideas of where I can purchase one of these, then please let me know in the comments down below, because I love having a map where I can see all the places that Ben and I have travelled. Here on the window ledge is two money trees or jade plants. The one on the left was from home base and the pot it was in is also from home base. Then the one on the right I picked up from Lidl. Every now and again they do really good selections of plants especially house plants and the basket that the J plant is in we got from Bali when we went to Bali last year. Okay moving on to the last wall which is where my vanity area is. So to the left I just have a couple of photos from our wedding and this is a full overview of my makeup area. This corner has changed so much over the years. If you've ever watched any any of my vanity or makeup storage videos then you'll know how different this has been over the years. I still have the same desk and drawers. Both the drawers and table are from Ikea and they go together so the drawers are the Alex drawers and then I can't remember what the table is but you just get two legs and then you balance the other side on top of the drawers. I won't go into too much detail on everything that's on my my vanity but if you do have any questions of where anything is from or you want to see a more detailed tour of certain areas then be sure to leave me a comment down below guys and I will definitely get back to you. Here in this area is where I keep my makeup brushes and just things I use before I put on my makeup so facial oil, primers, lip balm etc. This bottom bit here is a separate acrylic drawer set the whole acrylic system is from Muji. This pink towel here is from Asta. Then over in this corner is a couple of books and I just have a few crystals, some artificial flowers and then a ring holder. The Alex drawers just house all of my makeup and beauty stuff. So the first drawer is just all makeup. And then I have makeup sponges that really need washing, um, flannels, nail polish, an anti-back, and tanning, and things like that. 
Then I have hair in the second from bottom one. Then the last drawer has a shower caddy that I take upstairs when I'm having a shower upstairs. And this just has things like my razor, moisturizer, exfoliating gloves, and all those good beauty things. The white mirror is from the range. I used to have it the other way up, but I quite like having it long ways these days because it takes up less base on the vanity. Then on the other side of this desk is this Himalayan salt rock lamp. I have one of these upstairs as well in our bedroom. I will put a link to it down below so you can see all the benefits of salt rock lamps. This white tray is a serving plate but I love using it to put my perfume and jewellery on just to keep it all nice and tidy and this is from Wilco. The chair that I used to sit on when I'm doing my makeup is the really popular acrylic chair from Ikea and the cushion is old from Primark and I wonder if you can spot a little Sully there he's very tired today so he's doing lots of sleeping and now he knows I'm talking about him don't you Finally is my desk area. This is a, another one of the IKEA tabletops, so just like the vanity one, but I just have different legs on it. Again, if you want to see a more in-depth tour of my desk, then let me know and I will gladly do that for you. But on here, really, I just have everything that I need. So my laptop, water, this egg timer that I got from Home Bargains. I use this to time block throughout the day. Then under the laptop is this planner that's from Sainsbury, so I can just plan out my week. This acrylic table top here is two display units, I think they are. They are from Muji, but I found these really handy to rest my laptop on just so I'm not looking downwards all the time and I'm more looking at eye level. Then to the right, I keep my phone, some sticky notes, a notebook, uh, crystals, pens, paper, just the regular things that you would keep on your office desk. I find having the desk in the middle of the room facing towards the door is much better. It's just given me a lot more space I did used to have a tiny unit in the corner that I worked from but that really wasn't working for me so I needed a proper table with a lot of space where I could move around so this works really well for me. The final thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the chair that I use at this desk. This is a wooden chair with white legs. You can change the legs and you guessed it guys, it's from good old Ikea. And the pink teddy bear cushion is from Dunnell Mill. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Sully and I would love to have you as part of the PBB community. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye.